So we try to cover so many different areas on the show, especially when you have a three-hour talk show. And, and we're on a business station as well. Yeah, and, and plus it's a Sometimes business station. Sometimes we talk about business, yeah. But, you know, once in a while you have a health issue and you hear people say, I'm just going to learn to live with it. We have an expert on the phone with us right now, Dr. Gonzalez, and we're going to talk about some things you don't have to just live with because there's a lot of new things out there, and we have Dr. Gonzalez. Hey, Dr. Gonzalez. Good morning, Dr. Gonzalez. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good morning, Miami. Yes, really. So you actually specialize in stem cell therapy. Which a lot of people hear, but they're not familiar what it is. So explain to our listeners what stem cell therapy is. I do. I am a stem cell scientist. And basically when we discuss stem cells, um, we basically discuss regenerative medicine, which is a component of it, which regenerative medicine is basically, it's a translational type of research where we can take almost anything, uh, whether it's a protein, whether it's a cell, to replace or engineer um, something that is not functioning correctly. So what we're doing is basically restoring normal function, which is homeostasis. What we want to be in all the time is homeostasis. When you feel good, when we feel good, we are in homeostasis, and that's what we want, and that's the goal of regenerative medicine. So, so this could be like an injury. Right, that's what I was about or, to ask. Or some type of pain that right. you've been trying to learn to live with. Correct, absolutely. So anything that you that that is not functioning correctly, we try to deal with is what we basically do. We try to bring you what I said in homeostasis. We try to make that knee normal. We try to make that 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 leg pain that you have normal. We try to uh you have a heart condition, we try to fix, you know, try to bring that to normalcy. Uh this is what we deal with. Okay, so what's the process of this? Because I don't understand anything about stem cell therapy. So what's the process? I mean, it's not a surgical procedure, right? It's just a therapy. So how do you implement this? So, so there's, there's various different. So there's various different types of stem cells in your body, basically. Um, it is a procedure, actually, um, and, and there is a process involved in it. So there's stem cells that we can actually obtain from your bone marrow where you have a bone marrow aspirate. And from there, they isolate a small amount of stem cells. You hear that term a lot of places. You'll hear, oh, you know, we do stem cell therapy. Basically, they're obtaining it a lot of times from bone marrow. Or the other option is when we actually obtain it from fat. So from fat, you can have a small lipoaspirate. And from there, we can isolate specific stem cells that are in there. So you're saying uh, aspirated? Wait a second, Dr. Gonzalez. You're saying aspirated, meaning like with a syringe, you're aspirating it? Or do you go in Correct. surgical? Okay. Correct. Basically, basically, when you do a liposuction, we uh, they'll aspirate some fat out. Right. And uh, they're both procedures. You know, they're outpatient procedures. They're relatively quick. Um, they're painless. Both of them are relatively painless too. And you're in and out. It's just you know a, a one day type of you know to isolate it. Depending on what needs to be done on the individual, depending on what the patient has, uh, is depending on on how long the person will you know be whether he have to spend the night or not. So then you inject it into, like, say you have a knee, knee injury. So then you'll inject that into the knee injury? Correct. So then, so then they'll inject it into the, you know, in, in the case of a knee, they'll inject it into the joint space. Okay. Um, and then the individual basically will be, you know, in the case of a knee, it's different. Every, every single body is a little different. depends on what, what's going on in the knee. Uh, whether it's a meniscal tear, whether it's an ACA tear, ACL tear, whether it's... Um, what about know, arthritis? General ages. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. Just regular arthritis. Now, if we look at arthritis, let's, let, let's discuss one of the... And, and this is a very, very good question, arthritis. What we think of when we think of arthritis, arthritis is actually a systemic disease, meaning there's inflammation. Although there's inflammation in the joints, there's inflammation going around systemically in your body. And what we need to do is suppress that inflammation and then deal directly with the joint, especially if the joint is. So in this case, sometimes we have to do some what's called an IV of stem cells. We have to IV stem cells so we can suppress the inflammatory response. And then after that, we will directly inject into the joint. And the purpose of uh, uh, directly injecting into the joint is actually to replace some of the lost tissue that may have been lost in there, some of the cartilage that's gone. Uh, to increase the space in between the bone on bone, 
to help heal if there's osteoarthritis, if there's some bone issues there, to help heal that also. And these are just general things that, that we have to, depending on, it's patient-specific. Every single one of us are unique individuals. One person can have something that seems to be worse than the other individual, but they're in less pain than that other individual. Okay, I have a two-fold question. Okay, so you get this sure. procedure done. How long till you feel a difference, say for the arthritis or a knee injury? And secondly, how long does it last for? So that, once again, goes back to it depends on the individual. However, basically you get this, uh, this is done. When you get a systemic inj- injection done, you normally feel well right away. It's oh, basically wow. like, a, let, let, let's just say yes. It's just like an overall. Because what this stuff does, it sells. And when people think cells, they think the cells are going to replace an organ or it's going to do something like that. No. What these cells do, they work by signaling in your body. And they release all these signaling cues, and the term is called a paracrine effect. They release these signaling cues, and they make your body go back to its normalcy, homeostasis. Oh, you need this. So if you have, if you have, yeah, if you have mass amounts, amounts of inflammation going on in your body, let's bring that down. Um, if you have pain going on, let's bring that down. Let's bring it, you know, back down. When we talk about injecting it into the knee, normally we want you to rest that knee for about three months. Same thing with any joint. We want three you to months, rest. Man. We want you to get everything healed. Three weeks. Three oh, weeks. I thought you said three months. I was like, no, oh my God, weeks. it's like a lifetime. How long does no, it last? Three weeks. I got to just ask three this weeks. because people are probably thinking this to themselves. How long does this last for? So you're injecting, you know, and all of a sudden the pain's gone. Do you have to be re-injected after a certain period of time or it lasts, you know, indefinitely? So this is not a cure. It's not a cure, and it depends on the individual. And it depends on it depends on how hard you play. Well, that's what I call it. Um, oh, I don't play at the all. <laughs> There's no playing for me, Doctor Gonzalez. <laughs> then, then, then it may last you. Then it may last you longer. than in that case, um, it, it, it just depends. You know, normally people anywhere from six months to a year. I'm a case of what's called osteoarthritis grade two, and the right knee had to stop running. Uh, had it done actually two years ago. And I'm still good. I mean, I ran the day before yesterday four and a half miles. Wow. What if it's bone on bone, like you hear people say, my knee's arthritis is is eaten away. Will stem cell help when it's bone to bone? So in many instances, it can help stop what's called a total knee replacement. Ah. The issue here is exactly what was just asked. How often do you need to get this done? It depends on the individual. So if you want to avoid a total knee replacement, you can probably have this done, and it may last you anywhere from three to six months. Then you're going to have to go back and get it done again, and you're going to be consistently doing this. However, any medical procedure, remember, there's no guarantees. You have a total knee replacement, you could be down for two years. And yeah, my father had one, after that. and he's still having pain. It's two years later, and he's still having pain. Exactly, yeah. Let me exactly. just ask you a quick question because we're running out of time. We're going to come to commercial break. Does, does insurance cover this? No, they do not cover they this. They don't. They this should. This is not part of traditional medicine. They it's should. Not part Why of don't you hear medicine. more about this, I know. Dr. We hear Gonzalez. very little about this. It's, it's, it's because, um, you know, it's new and it's not. It's been around since the 1940s, actually. Um, when we think about curing cancer, we do what's called a bone marrow transplant. That's actually stem cells at work. Uh, it's been around for a long time, but it's not mainstream because, A, the insurance companies don't cover it. And think about this more importantly. If I'm using something from you and I'm putting it back to inside of you, who owns the right to that? You do. Nobody else owns I the right to that. I love that. So, the, <laughs> so, yes, do. So, so, yeah, the difficulty to that, if you think about this, is – how is the large pharmaceuticals, how are these companies going to make money out of it? How are they going to have what's called well, intellectual property for this? That's the problem. And you just said the whole problem. Anyway, give out your contact information for anybody that wants to call SIP. Free consultation, Dr. Gonzalez? Absolutely, okay. sure. Uh, you can contact us through the web, www.gentera-med.com or 305-424-424. Five seven seven five, And we're going to be talking more about this on a daily basis. Dr. Gonzalez, thank you so much for coming on with us. And you're going to be coming back on, too. This is just an amazing procedure. Thanks, Dr. Gonzalez. Have Sounds a great, great day. Thank you. Thank you. Do the same. Take care of yourselves. It's the Steve-O and Renee Show. Here on 880 The Biz.